everybody, welcome to Always Bored, Never Boring. Today we are talking about issue 13 of Warhammer 40,000 Conquest. It's the Loot Crate Edition. So, um, bear with me one moment. I'm just going to open this. Normally I would have done this before I rolled the film, but I didn't. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I think I've done enough of these videos now that I can I can skip the bit where I tell you what it's all about. But if you've never seen any of my previous videos on this, uh, Warhammer 40,000 Conquest magazine is a weekly Parkworks magazine from Hatchet Publications or Hatchet Publishing in association with Games Workshop. You get a magazine that introduces you to Warhammer 40k, painting and other hobby stuff, and you get some Games Workshop goodness. This particular issue comes with a frame of... Uh, Munitorum bits and bobs. You get an armoured container, one armoured container, three um, barrels, and uh, two ammo crates. In brown, in brown plastic. Uh, I'm not sure why they chose to go with brown plastic, but they did. Now, how exciting this is to you depends on a couple of things. One, it depends on whether you're new to the game and you don't have any terrain yet because terrain really changes up a game if you know playing on an open empty battlefield is is one thing um, once you get some terrain in in the in your game things change dramatically uh, the munitorum crate is big um, so it's quite it's quite a big a big piece and then the drums and the ammo crates are good scatter um, I'm just going to quickly show you um, an, an assembled one of these because I happen to have one so this is what um, the crates are like. You get two different sizes of the crates. And then you get the drums. And then you get the Munitorum crate. So these are pretty big. You know, when they're when they're when they're all when they're all assembled. Uh, they're a good size and so you get like i say one of those on that particular sprue uh the so yeah it's good to get scenery if you've already got a lot of scenery this isn't going to be particularly exciting um and the other thing that's that's not so exciting is the 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 cost benefit of buying the magazine to get this scenery because games workshop sell a Munitorum pack which has three of these sprues in it which means you know you would get three times it's three identical sprues but you'd get three of the large crates uh, and then you'd get you know three times everything else and that retails for 30 pounds and if you shop online you can get 15 20 percent off that but effectively that's a 10 pound frame and the Warhammer 40,000 Conquest magazine is $7.99 an issue. So, yes, technically, you are getting a saving. You're getting a saving uh, of £2 and 1p on this particular frame. And also, you're, um, you know, you're, you're, not, you're not having to buy three times uh, all the products if you only wanted one, one crate, for example. So, you are getting a little bit of a saving, but... If I was to go online and buy the Munitorum pack, um, £30 is the retail price, but I could get 20% off that. And that actually brings it down in line with with the price of this, this magazine. So that's not particularly exciting. Um, the other thing is you're going to get two more magazines uh, in the future which have this frame on it again. Um, I've seen a picture of all of the stuff that you get it with this magazine over the course of its 80 run issue and there were three crates in the picture um and that's that's fine i mean obviously they're not going to give you 30 quid's worth of of terrain on one single magazine they're, they've split it up over three magazines but the next two magazines that have terrain in aren't going to be very exciting on the plus side the actual magazine this issue should be quite interesting because it's going to introduce um one of the things the magazine does is it introduces the new rules associated with the miniatures and bits and bobs that you get on the front of the magazine. So in this issue, they're going to introduce terrain. And that's quite cool because up until now, um, you've not really had much to do with terrain if you've been following through the tutorials. 
So that's something that's a bit more interesting. So it's a bit of a mixed bag, really. I'm not, you know, uh, for me personally, getting getting an extra Munitorum crate is fine, but I'm not particularly excited about it. I should imagine if I was new to the hobby and didn't have any terrain, that would be very cool indeed. I think by the time I get my third magazine with another one of those identical frames in, I might be starting to get a little bit tired of it. But then on the other hand, I personally bought a box with three of those frames in because I wanted that terrain. So I don't know. I mean, I don't know. What, what do other people think? Let me know down there. Um, what have we got in this magazine? We've got some stuff about Space Marine chapters, the honor of Ultramar stuff about the warp and some cool psychedelic art um oh this is cool this is really nice picture um kind of this is what a, a munitorum plant would would look like look at that it's really cool like that all right STC systems. This is quite interesting because um, you're getting into other areas of other areas of the law beyond just these are guys with guns and they shoot these guys with guns and they try and conquer these planets and these people try and protect these planets. You're getting a little bit more of, of other types of things, you know, things about navigators and like I say the construction side of things and the fact that there are these great big planets that are just churning out weaponry and, and vehicles and things um it all comes down to war at the end of the day because in in the grim dark future there is only war but it's interesting to see you know because not not everybody is grabbing grabbing a bolter and heading to the front line there are people that are doing other things as well Praise and glory be to the machine god. Such findings are a sure sign of his blessing. Indeed. That's from the Adeptus Mechanicus. Okay, so there you go, the armoured container. And it's, uh... Look at that. It's got some stuff about using elastic bands to hold stuff together. I've never done that. I've never ever used an elastic band to hold anything together. Um, a lot of people do that. A lot of people swear by doing things like that, but I never do. So, what have we got? Obviously, we've got clippers and glue safety. Don't stick the glue at your nose. Don't cut your fingers off. Usual stuff. These are not easy build. We are very much into normal games workshop stuff here. Um, but although they are not the from the easy build line of products, they are an easy build because they are basically a box. So it's the bottom, two sides, the top two end bits done and then you've got an option to put some some little bits and bobs you can put the uh the little platform bits on the top they, those are quite good because it means you can stack another one on the top nice and easily and it stays level when they because these feet sit on the top of those heads um, and you can also put some little guns on they, they've got options for bolters and you've also got an option to have it with a door open so you can you can get inside if you want to Post yourself to somewhere where it isn't so grim dark. There you go. That's um, that's showing you with the bolters going on the top. I didn't like the bolters on the tops of the crates, so I just never bothered bothered putting them on. It's optional. It's an optional thing. It even says there optional assembly. Bolters attached. Do not glue. So you can just pull them off. Um, ba -ba 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 and then we've got dangerous cargo. So this is a new um, a new tutorial mission that's going to introduce having a crate and some barrels and stuff kicking around. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, I t uh, this is this is the best issue. This is the best issue. Ah, oh, anybody who's been following me. Anybody who's been following my my, uh, um, my series on the One Four Thousand Conquest magazine will know that I have continually complained that in all of the magazines they have been giving sort of cut down rules for the for the different units, and 
now they've, they've they've done it they've included the proper full data sheets so you have have all of the the full rules in one place for lieutenant calcius for the intercessor squad for the reaver squad lieutenant calcius okay that's his example to, to to show you what it all means and then that's that's his actual proper profile down there um and then it's blank on the back as well you lovely people you lovely people i said they could just have the paper ones you could just pull out or copy and that's exactly what they've done they've just got them on pull out sheets and then here we've got plague marines pox walkers that's that's lovely and then in another issue they're obviously going to give you ones for the aggressors that we've had um the the blight hauler the blight spawn that is lovely you lovely bloody lovely people good good show um i'm very happy about that um and i can now stop complaining about the fact that it doesn't it didn't look like they were going to include the full data sheets so that's good um and then we get into the um the rules on terrain and, and getting up on top of the terrain and tripping over the guns shooting pox walkers in the head from on top all that sort of stuff and um having a bit of a party everybody's up on top wobbly model there we've got um, got rules for the wobbly model syndrome there it is wobbly model syndrome this is something that games Workshop have done for quite some time now they call it the wobbly model syndrome if you want to put a miniature somewhere and it won't go um seize the ammunition then there's a a tutorial mission using your, your new new scenery um and and some extra rules for um using containers that have storm bolters on them mounted storm bolter in the shooting phase a model can fire a mounted storm bolter instead of its own weapon as long as it is in base contact with the storm bolter and then there's a covers obviously cover save bonus from being in terrain so there we go that's it that's the end of the magazine all round this is a good magazine um like i say the value isn't great in terms of what you're getting in terms of what you're paying 7.99 um for, for 10 pounds worth of plastic um but if you've not if you've not got any scenery the munitorum scenery goes together nice and easily and it's really good versatile scenery that you can put in lots of different situations and the scatter scatter terrain is useful and I'm very happy to see the full data sheet starting to appear in the magazine as well. Um, so obviously th that's going to be something that they do going forward and very happy to see that. So all in all, nay bad, nay bad. Not the best value, but, but, but good. Next issue, there's a brush. So next issue is, a, is a, a, an issue focusing on painting and in particular the, the method of dry brushing which is something that they haven't talked about in any of the painting guides just yet so that's going to be interesting um, and then what's going to be in issue 15 dun 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 oh yeah it's a putrefier they have include they're including another death guard hero a really good death guard hero some nice stuff there to give the kids nightmares isn't it give us a kiss um yes putrefy another nice miniature another good death guard villain so things are really starting to really starting to to get good now we're getting we've got a couple of heroes for the ultramarines we've got a couple of heroes for the death guard we've got some terrain we've got some good units we've got a good mix of units on both sides we've got some war machines um and also extra dice as always i'm going to put the the current running total of the costs and things up here and that's it from me um good issue what's everybody else think let me know in the comments and um yeah like like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet because i do this sort of nonsense all the time um and you know you wouldn't want to miss out on more of this would you i'll see you all again soon everybody Bye bye